All right, welcome back to part two of my Montezuma's Revenge playthrough. And one of the things I realized that uh, I need to do immediately is I need to create a paper map for these levels. Uh, or I'm going to get lost really quick because all these rooms interconnect. So I'm going to have to go back to my part one and two videos for my part three video and draw a map. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and do what I can do and see if I can get across this bridge here. And yeah, all right, just made it. And this is the Forever Torch. This is the torch that will not disappear from your inventory and it will uh, light all the dark areas on the rest of the map and that was some smooth jump work right there let's see if I can go all the way to the uh, left or this leftmost brick here all right now I've got to go all the way to the left hopefully I won't die and I just made it all right I'm doing pretty well here grab the little victory jump here yeah and uh, in this part of the level you can actually drop down without dying I don't know why you die in other parts of the level well th that's not a good example that I just jumped to my death yeah, we're going to have Picard kind of ridicule me here every time I die. Uh, what I mean is by dropping down over here, for some reason, the other parts of the level, if you drop down like that, you'll die. I should be able to drop down to the right, but I'm going to jump over to the left here and see how that works out for me. Yeah, just like I thought. Okay, let's uh, try being rational and reasonable here and drop down to the right. Now go down this ladder and see what's down here. All right, a bunch of rolling skulls. This shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh-huh, keep going, and I kind of want to see what's over here on the right, but I'm really greedy and I want that gem, so I'm going to go down here and, uh, oh, nah. I did not mean to use my sword, hopefully there's another one on the level, okay, let's see what's over here on the right, ooh, no way, no way I'm going to try to do that, I'm going to flee to the left here and I'll try to tackle that later. Hopefully I have a sword and I can kill that spider and then try to jump. But in the meantime, I'm going to go down here to the left. Now, if I go down this ladder, I see it's broken. So if I'm going to get back to that spider bridge, I'm going to have to do some fancy jump work on the right-hand side with those ropes. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Some more jerk spiders. I hate them. They're fast and they can crawl up the ladders and go after you. And jump! Good, good, good. Ooh, this is a fast guy. Let's see what's down here. Oh boy, okay, I only have one white key, so I'm gonna have to go search for another one. I'm not even gonna try to bother with that right now. Watch out for this fast one, and come on, yes! All right. Another jerk spider. I hate him. Let's, uh, but there's the white key that I need, so let's go grab that, and then I can unlock those two white doors. But you can see how big these maps are, and how important it is for me to draw my own paper map. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to get lost real easily. In fact, it took me a long time to uh, uh, record this because I kept getting lost. And extra life! All right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to run away. Nah, I'm going to be greedy, and I'm going to try to get this uh, other gem. Being greedy in this game does not usually work out well for me. It usually leads to a quick death. But it worked out this time. Some fancy jump work here. Jump over the spider, and jump over the skull, and I am home free. Uh, I might go down this ladder here, so see if there's another way. No, I can't, I can't go that way, so I'm just going to jump to the left here and just try to avoid the spider. Alright, so far so good. Let's see if I can make it down this ladder without dying. Alright, now I can unlock these two white doors. And I have to time this just perfectly. And there's one. And here's the other. And I actually meant to go back to the ladder, but the keyboard stuck and pushed me all the way to the left. Uh, but that worked out. Okay, this is a really hard one because this guy in the middle, these chains, they'll kill you. Oh, it's too late. Nope. Yeah, they'll kill you if you don't run right when they go up. So let's see if I can do it this time. All right, zip over here. And I'm going to be patient here. Not yet. And go, go. No, no. Go, 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 go. Yeah, see, you have to go right when they go up. All right. Jump over this guy. That's easy. See what's up here. Yeah, see, I think I've been to this part of the level before, so I, I really need a paper map. I'm already getting a little lost. Oh, an evil snake. I'm going to have to jump over him and do a jump in midair so I don't fall into the fire. Well, let's go for it. And go! All right, I made it. All right. Uh, yeah, I better go after. I better go this way and see if I can jump over those two skulls here. It shouldn't be a big deal, but I didn't time that right. Ugh. Thank goodness for emulation and save states. And here we go.
Ah, crazy spider. Oh, but there's a sword, so that'll help me on that spider bridge. And you know what? This has stressed me out enough, and I think I'm going to call it a day. So I'll see you all for the uh, part three of the playthrough.